Hey, I'm CNET's Rye Christ, and today we're talking single serve coffee, specifically the iCoffee Opus Brewer from Remington. This is a $140 follow up to the iCoffee Steam Brew Drip Coffee Maker that Remington put out last year. That coffee maker claimed to use steam to make a less bitter pot of coffee. This coffee maker makes similar claims. It says it makes less bitter single serve coffee, and it does that using spin brew technology. Now, what that means is that the needle that pierces the lid of your K cup, it's actually going to spin around and spray water in all directions, agitate the grounds, and it claims that that makes a less bitter cup of coffee. Now, another of iCoffee's claims is that it'll work with any single serving K style cup. So, K cups or the knockoff off brand cups, that's a distinct difference from Keurig 2.0 brewers, which use a scanner to only brew approved K cups. Still, there are plenty of single serve coffee makers out there that will brew both K-Cups and store brand stuff, so that's not a distinct advantage for this machine in particular. That puts the onus on the performance, on that claim of less bitter coffee. So let's take a look at how it works. Using this coffee maker is really simple. You just plug it in, hit the power button, and then you'll turn this dial to select how much water you want in your cup of coffee. That's a really nice feature. A dial is sort of the right tool for the job when you're selecting water amount. However, the dial wasn't accurate. It gave us more water than we'd dial, so we'd have to adjust down. If we had an eight ounce cup, we'd have to set it down around 6.5 ounces. You'll push a button in the front of the machine to open it up. You'll pop your cup in, push it down, and then you'll just tap the dial a brew button to get the coffee maker going. The brew process will take less than a minute, depending on exactly how much water you're using. And once you're done, you've got your single serve cup of coffee. And at first sip, it tastes a little watery to me. It tastes a little underdeveloped. We tested this out with a refractometer, very nice tool that helps us see exactly what's going on in a cup of coffee. And it is indeed a little bit on the weak side, even for a single serve coffee, which is gonna be weak to begin with. Also, it's not any less bitter than other coffee makers that we like, including the Editor's Choice winning Bun My Cafe MCU. So, it doesn't really produce a cup of coffee that's better than other brewers. It's not a whole lot worse, it's right in the ballpark, but it's just not a distinctly better cup. Because of that, I think this is a tough brewer to recommend outright. It's not the best in its class. It's not the worst either though, and the price, $140, isn't terrible. So basically, if you just need a simple single serve brewer and you like the look of this thing, Go ahead and get it, 140 is not terrible. But you can probably do better if you shop around. I like the Bun My Cafe MCU, along with the Cuisinart SS700. Those are both classy machines that do a good job for about the same price. Thanks for watching. Be sure and check out the full review at CNET.com, along with the rest of my tech reviews. For CNET Appliances, I'm Ry Christ.